Hello, good day everyone, and welcome again to our 18th recorded Let's Play session here in Solaris featuring the uh, the uh, empire that I built or uh, made here on uh, Solaris, which is the United Nations of Seoul. And uh, so just give me a second here. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, so uh, we uh, the empire that I made here is United Nations of Seoul, mm -hmm. and that our current president mm -hmm. is still uh, Secretary Roman Fedorova, which is the date right now is 23-72 March 13th. So recently we had a war with the Uri remnant here. Uh, we just concluded it on our last session uh, a few minutes before we concluded the 17th, se uh, 17th recorded session. So uh, of course the war uh, went favorably for, uh, to the UNS despite uh, initial disasters on the military uh, land force command. I mean, despite the uh, the disaster that was made on the land campaign. To retake the uh, the bound the planet the boundary or what they call the boundary. So uh, thanks to the army headed by General. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, where's that? Uh, okay, I guess that's. Uh, well, anyway, I'm just gonna consolidate my army here. So anyway, we're now starting our 18th recorded Let's Play, and as a precaution, I will be saving my game here every 30 minutes, just as a failsafe, and after an hour, we'll be having a short break. So anyway, let's begin now on our gameplay session here. Now, um, the United Nations of Seoul here is now in a major, undergoing a major terraforming project, great grand project, after the, soon after the war. <laughs> Probably one of the uh, story-wise, I'll just say that seized the one of the reverse engineering technologies that was seized from the Uri remnant, that they could uh, reverse engineer or terraform the planets into a Gaia worlds. So all of my uh, 41 planets here or 47 planets here are now a candidate of uh, Gaia worlds. Um, for now, um, there is a lot of crime rate going on here. And, uh, hmm. Uh, I don't know what to do. The UNS is left uh, puzzled on what to do with the uh, newly acquired territory, the core here. Hmm. And this one. So, uh, for now, we got a lot of. Uh, unemployment issues here but so probably I'll oh okay we don't have enforcers so probably I have to uh, hmm okay which one should I sacrifice here affluent center these are all good buildings honestly even on the boundary hmm okay well uh, I guess I'll figure it out later Hmm, this is produces 100 food. Yeah, I'll probably have to... Uh... Okay, let's restore jobs. Uh, we got workers here. Hmm, yeah, so they got a lot of unemployed workers. Hmm, okay, this is uh, uh, quite a bit of a problem. Anyway, we'll be creating a new sector here, new Taiwan sector, and uh, the core sector, or we're just gonna call it uh, uh, Uri Remnant Center. Uri Remnant, Uri Remnant Zone, okay, uh, occupied. Occupied Uri Remnant Zone. Okay, so that's a good name. Uh, probably we'll just uh, do a mix of this one. New Taiwan, we'll probably have to uh, center probably on Unity. So I'll assign uh, a new governor for this guy. We'll be go with this. And for the... Uh, 
for this guy, I uh, will probably go for Daniel McCarthy. <clears throat> Just to keep the uh, crime rates down. Okay. Um, way to go. Okay. Uh, I will probably get this one anti crime campaign. So, yeah. And uh, I don't know. Okay, that's I think that's good. So um this one, New Europa Okay, prison world. Okay, well we're still uh trying to make up out of the prison Construction world. Construction complete. <laughs> okay, um What do we got here? Okay, so uh, I guess that's uh wait, I'm just gonna um Okay, I'll just uh switch it off the volume or make it small so that I won't have a background noise. If you are Overlord Garrison. Okay, so uh, additional plus monthly five loyalties or something. That's good. If you are four. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna make uh Wait, where's Ethior 4? I think uh, last I checked, I made a province on Ethior. Okay, I'll... Uh... Yeah, it's the Uri Commonwealth. Why, why do I have... Okay, they're loyal. And... Uh... Yeah, it's more like a puppet government established by the UNS. So, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so there's nothing much to do right now. Okay, uh, perhaps our hubris was too great. New Lebanon is being ripped apart from inside as the horrific inverseness is still sequestered on it. While the breakthrough we have in the science from studying the dimensions are evolutionary, the strain on the world has been immense. Few scientists believe that they can still stabilize the reaction, but there is still a chance. As inhabitants of New Lebanon board transfer chains to leave the moon, innumerable amounts of rifts. Okay, we've come to this far. Modify to like giving the following effects. Okay, this thing was well we'll go with that. Because uh new Lebanon will be a science uh what do you call this? A secret science facility. Hmm. It's gonna be named as a secret science world. So far, there's uh, seven populations. Uh, well, yeah, the racket would do that. So hopefully, New Europa won't explode anytime soon. Because uh, it's uh, made out of uh, more like a top secret, uh, ultra top secret government, uh, you know, government research. Okay, what's their response? Okay, research strategic. Okay, we're good with that. So they're okay being a science, uh, you know, a science uh, vassal, which will we need or the UNS will need badly because they need a little boost for the, uh, you know, for the research. Oh god, who died? Okay, Julieta Ortiz. Yeah, I'm just gonna pause that. Okay, we got a human. We probably have to transfer these guys to, uh, I don't know, maybe New Taiwan. Uh, great. So I'll just have to sell a little bit of these. Okay. There we go. Let's proceed. <laughs> I'll probably have to remove this one. Uh, Can't really 
already have uh Colossus, Colossal Assembly, Titan Assembly, we're just gonna go with this, uh, probably Naval Logistic Support, and this one will probably be a Transit Hub. Um, Field Engineers have cleared a blocker. Okay, we'll just... Yeah, we'll just need some trade with this. So hopefully the Uri Remnant will not cause some problems for me uh, later on. So uh, probably have to rendezvous this, uh, my mercenary fleet into this area. <laughs> Okay, so things are doing good here. So now that the Uri Remnant is out of the way and been removed from a major power in the galactic uh, west of the Fornax Galaxy, the UNS stands to be the sole superpower or hyperpower in the galactic uh, west side of the Fornax Galaxy. Now the question is, what will happen next? I mean, uh, story-wise, of course. Uh, New Taiwan. Okay, New Singapore. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of things to manage here. <laughs> New Bahrain. Okay, so how do I have to maneuver this? Um. Well, it's a tech world, so we'll probably have to build research labs. New Myanmar is a mining world, so I'll uh, have, probably have to build a mineral purification plant. Okay, well, within a span of a few more years, probably 10 years, all of the planets in UNS will be a Gaia world, which is a very lucrative source of, uh, you know, uh, very habitable for any uh, walk of life on the Fornax galaxy. Uh, Dar, okay. Okay. Yeah, I bet I should have a science vessel over there. Oh, great. Okay, just give me a moment here. I'll probably assign two of my science vessel here. Hawkin, James Cook. Okay, so go. <laughs> Okay, first fleet. This is something. Oh, yeah, okay. Your first UNS fleet. Yeah, I should have made a... Uh... Right, we got the second, the third. We don't have technically the fourth UNS fleet. So, probably have to make one. But uh, currently, I'm on a... Uh over naval capacity here so I still have to solve that hmm okay I should have some sort of titan assembly yards but uh, I don't have one right now okay we got the low stability here New Cambodia hmm well, um, zero percent stability. What, uh, what the hell happened? 
Um, the habitation district, it seems to be fine. Yeah, well, as long as it's not revolting. Okay, um, let me see if I, uh, my planets here are still producing. Okay, they're still producing uh, armies, unfortunately. Oh, great. Oh, someone by the uh, humans. That's bad. <laughs> okay, let me take a look. Which, uh... Factory world, agri world, industrial world... Inbound message traffic. What's this? Uh... Yeah, this is an assigned Kumonopolis foundry. Six thousand. That's a lot of uh, unity points that is needed. Whew. We're flying to a world where I'm okay with that. Hmm. Tech world. Hmm. Factory world. Uh, forge world. Uh, One hundred six unity points. That's a lot. And, uh, huh, I don't know how to, uh, navigate on that part. <laughs> okay, New Malta. Um, it's a tech world, so I'll just... Now, New Pakistan is a fortress world, so we we'll just go with Apachan Apach Monument. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so it's in Lixim system. Isabella Hamilton is the one that's uh, currently in command with the uh, UNS army here. Hmm. Okay, that's okay with me. Right. Uh, Inbound message traffic. Okay, uh, he wants an embassy. Yes, of course, we agree. We're gonna have an embassy with that. And uh, I'll have to reinforce my fleet here. Where's my uh, fleet? Okay, uh... Okay, we've reinfo reinforced the third. Hmm. New Taiwan Station, of course. Uh, New Taiwan... Well, we'll probably have to, uh... Well, I think New Taiwan's... Okay, fine. Oh no, um... Hmm. Well, I'll probably go with habitation mode. Yeah, we'll probably be doing a habitation mode here, but I prefer it to be an orbital anchor. The recent advances in genetics, we have gained an extra trait point that we can use to modify okay. and enhance our people. So we got, uh... I don't know, how about Zeroni? Yeah, I think we'll go for Zeroni first. Okay, hmm. we got humans. Hmm. Okay, so we got some Uri remnants. And oh, they're nomadic. They're very strong. Hmm.
Okay. Well, we got a psychic racket here. Well, it's a good thing that New Lebanon hasn't exploded yet. Although too late, we have waited too long. The world's fate is no longer ours to decide. Unity. Okay, so we're gonna go for... should have some sort of uh, okay right uh, okay hmm. <laughs> I guess hmm right uh, Dragon Spear, Void Spawn, so we're just gonna upgrade the uh, 6 UNS fleet here. Second UNS fleet, yeah, we'll probably have to reinforce them here. <laughs> Habitat, but I, I, but I like the alloys at the moment. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we'll just have to uh, wait and let this uh, game gameplay run its course. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna check my uh, my uh, planets here for uh, micromanaging. Oh, what's this? Okay, so I should have 50 pops. Okay, let's check this message. Battle debris secured. Got the battle the over with me square. Hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, well, that was a bit of a silence. I was just checking through uh, some stuff here. And uh, there we go. Hmm. New Singapore. Yeah, well, we mostly have trade. Oh, 106. I still got just only 62. Um, what's this? Okay, I guess that's the reinforcements. Okay, so we got another plus, uh, you know, plus uh, something here. Hmm. Okay, opening. Uh, they easily went to... Uh, Hmm. Eight workers produce amenities for the subject and unity for the overlord. Emporium, what's this? Trade. Hmm. Battle debris secured. Upkeep. Yeah, alright. So I'll probably go with the uh, aid agency here.
<laughs> All right, uh, what do we got here? Yeah, New Taiwan still lacks the uh Okay, so right now I'm just gonna consolidate all of my uh, army here. I got tons of army. Blocker cleared. Okay, that's nice to hear that we've already cleared the blocker. So, uh, in the meantime... Okay, we'll just select this army here. Let's consolidate that. Um, which area? Yeah, I'll probably consolidate them in New Singapore. So that should solve the, uh, you know, the problem. Uh, because there's an error here in Slars that if you have too many armies, it will definitely. Uh, you know, uh, get kicked out of the menus. So it happened to me a lot of times on my playthrough that uh, I got so many army units that uh, the computer just simply, I don't know, it's a bug, they just simply threw out the menu. So as a result, I wasn't able to find out how many or what is the strength of my army uh, on that playthrough. <laughs> oh, we got a low unemployment here. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, it is a collective commonality. I guess they heat they heated the uh you know the siren or something. Same here, pops are not uh, uh, let, me, let me check if we could resettle here um, I knew there must be some sort of red here In Taiwan, no Yeah, how about the core? We could use uh, hmm. Okay, uh, we're still, uh, you know, uh, having some issues with our naval capacity, and I'm still uh, trying to solve that. But for now, it's peacetime now in Fornax, and it is unquestionably, uh, the, without doubt, and with, uh, un unquestionably, and without doubt, the UNS is now the uh, sole superpower on uh, this part of the galaxy, on the Fornax. Well, the, the other superpower uh, um, on this uh, Fornax galaxy would be the Falar Kingdom, but they're uh, so far away. Um, Oh, what's this? Well, we're gonna open the borders with them. They're very friendly. So, yeah. Although their armed forces and economics is pathetic. Which is not a surprise because it's just only a startup nation. <laughs> okay, we'll update some stuff here. Uh, synthetic crystal plants. That should do the trick. Uh, 
hyper relay research stations. Oh my god. So I just have to find out if there is some sort of friendly uh huh. Yeah, I'll probably try going up north here. So uh let's try to uh Oh, okay. Oh, this is something. Hmm. Right, so uh, there's uh, more like uh, the route is being blocked there. Hmm. Okay, I'll just go by uh, slaves on. I don't know, we got some new Taiwan, so, uh, hmm, largest rate of unemployment, yeah, okay, um, hmm, okay, we'll just buy some stuff here, okay, let's go. Okay, let's continue. Oh, okay, I did not notice that, so I'm just gonna pause this one for a second. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're going to save this one. This will be uh, ONS, UNS episode 18. And we always do this as a form of precaution. Okay, UNS episode 18, letter A. There we go. And now I am going to save this on our OBS. So, just give me a moment. Okay, welcome back. I just saved that on the OPS. So let's continue our uh, another 30 minutes of our recorded Let's Play session. And then after that, we're going to go for our uh, hour break. Uh, after an hour, we'll go for a short break, I mean. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's still on pause. Hmm. Okay, uh, let me check. Okay, so we're still 33 months ahead on our, um, on our, uh, on our mega engineering to repair those mega structures. Okay, we got an open, uh, so in other words, we can't, uh, we can't, uh, we're not gonna operate the uh, sentry array, uh, but we could operate the science nexus. I have the Unity, but the Mega Engineering is still an issue. Okay. Hmm. New Malta. Okay, Research Lab, Research Lab. How about we add a little bit of flavor? Like uh, Halo Feeders for these guys. In Pakistan, we'll probably have to uh, go with uh, some form of entertainment. <laughs> okay, we'll just go restore the Sikul Monopolis. So uh, this will be our top priority right now. Restore Eco Monopolis. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a peek why the prison world colonization really takes some time here. <laughs> Gaia World 15. Yeah, well, I guess New Thailand can be. Oh, okay. And New Indonesia. Hmm. Yeah, I probably have to uh, build, I guess, uh, several. Um, Okay, well, where do we have here? Okay, I'm just gonna build a... Uh, 
Huh? The Hyper Relay. That's not gonna... No, that's not gonna cut the... 104 influence. Okay, yeah. So what's this? Dreading Catman. Okay, we're doing good with this one. Um, <laughs> okay, the core. Hmm, got 36 worker unemployment. Okay, right, uh, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, go through here. Well, anyway, uh, for now, I could say that everything here is peacetime. And, uh, and, uh, of course, we're rearming our UNS here, just in case for the crisis battle. So, uh, probably the thing we have to do is just simply prepare. Uh, for the crisis. Inbound message traffic. Okay, Yamasara free traders are in good terms with us, so uh What do we got here? Well, most of our uh, transports are still, uh, you know, are, uh, okay, so I need to have, um, what I call this, okay, let me take a look here on my edicts and see if I could, uh, you know, come something up here, well, we could go for willpower, I think this much it this is much more appealing right now so we can have uh, at least uh, 10 uh, influence points every month which will we we need badly for the development of uh, fortress orbital mm -hmm. habitat worlds yeah probably I'll be developed here here and here this is a true point uh, no, we're not going to build a relay station there. Okay, there we go. So far, so good. It seems that the Fornax Galaxy is on peacetime. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully the, the the crisis doesn't or an event doesn't come up here. Well, it seems that the Igarian arbitrators are uh, well. Hmm. Uh, for now, the galaxy seems to be safe. Holy guardians. Well, for the Uryu Remnant, they're mostly out of the way here, and they're just stuck being on a small island. Hopefully they're not gonna declare war. Yeah, they got nothing here but a bleak a planet. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Okay, right now, hmm. Right, it's been fully prepared, so we're just gonna reinforce this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, whew, 
well, there's nothing going on here and no event, so, uh, yeah, kind of good for me, to be honest. Hmm. Do 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 do. You know, surely there would be some sort of war here, but, uh, anyway, I guess this is peacetime. Okay, uh, what should I name the prison planet? Hmm. So what will I name it? Hmm. Okay, let me think. There's a lot of uh, stuff that I need to think about this one. Uh, huh. Hmm. Okay, so this is quite difficult. Um, hmm. Okay, it should be Middle Eastern, I guess. I don't know. Ah, coming up with names could could it be so hard? Yeah, I'll just name this one New Senegal. Huh. Senegal. Okay. <laughs> so UNS World. So you Senegal is basically a a prison planet, a Gaia prison planet. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. We got a tons of menus. And uh, we still got unemployment issues with this one. Well, it's a Gaia world and we got 120 housing. What if uh, we could just build a unity here? Huh. Wait, Uri, we got 37 unemployed pups. Hmm. Okay, uh, let me check take a look here uh, which one of my oh new Indonesia is a factory world okay that's my bad what I need is uh, huh. what's this field engineers have cleared a blocker Okay, so there's a new mandate confirming the election. Okay. There we go. Yeah, there's really nothing much we could do right now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, probably I guess the best thing that I'll have here would be... Uh, you know, uh, I don't know, the best thing that we have here would probably be uh, a crisis, but uh, like I said, I'm not prepared here for a crisis. Construction of a uh, new prison planet won't be around 2375 June. Wait, uh, oh, okay, so it's still two years. So uh, that's uh, a little bit far. Hmm? Yeah, okay. Uh, Yeah, I guess we could. Yeah, let's build a star base there so we could claim this area. Haribus. Hmm. Tomb world. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, quite confusing for me. Anyway, uh, how's my research doing? Still 27 months. 27 months is still a long thing. So for the meantime, we're just upgrading here the, uh, you know, weapon systems of the uh, UNS on its fleet. Um, 
yeah. Okay, so everything here is uh, pretty much uh, have some hyperlink lines. Construction complete. Hmm. Okay, let's uh Okay, so who's our general secretary? Oh, it's still an election. Okay, well we'll just have to simply wait for that. And uh uh yeah, you know, after this we'll have an uh short break. So well, nothing much it did really go on here. Just uh, probably have to rebound our uh, fleet here. Six and we don't have the seventh. Okay, we have the one fleet, second fleet, third, and then... Oh. Fourth, I guess. Wait, uh, yeah, we don't have a uh, fourth fleet here, so probably I have to create one on the fleet manager. Okay, uh, we'll just shift, shift, then shift. And frigate class. Okay, we'll just uh, add this anyway. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, that's good. So we just need a little bit cash to assemble this one. Viola, this is now officially the fourth UNS fleet. Or, yeah, the fourth UNS fleet that is being constructed. Still, as I said, the problem is still with the naval capacity. Hmm. Well, except for the first engineer. Yeah. Hmm, assembly algorithms. Okay. Hmm. So I still have one free, one free, uh, one free, uh, uh, one free, uh, what do you call this? Um, traditions here. Uh huh. Pop demolition time. Okay. Okay, the second. Okay, well, most of the fleets here are still just hanging out. And we got our full army here, UNS Army, located on the, uh... Oh, what's this? Okay, mandate, so our new General Secretary would be... Uh, re-elected Roman Federal. Okay, so he's, uh, he's uh, he got re-elected as uh, the general secretary of UNS. Mm, probably because uh, story-wise, all of that uh, political clout he got from the successful campaign of the Uri Remnant, or on the second, uh, you know, second uh, Uri Remnant war. Mm. All right. So what's the progress here? Mm 
Yeah, okay. I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll probably station the... What's this? Okay, energy credits, uh, some rewards that came from our private PMCs. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, what do we got? Ah, Tachyon Lens. Okay, multi-dimensional studies. Uh, how about... Uh, yeah, we'll go for archaeology skills. Hmm. Okay, this is more like the Prikikiti Civil War now. Stellar Nation of Prikiti has declared war to their original Prikikiti. Of course, their uh, relations might worsen. So they're just right beside on the border. One that is uh, on the eyes of a normal Prikiti, a state that was sponsored, or a puppet state that was sponsored by the UNS. Hmm. Okay, uh. Do, 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 do. So for now, there's no uh, crisis going on. So uh, this is going to be a rule. If the crisis doesn't get uh, on 2500, I'll have to force start a crisis here. But for now, uh, there's no uh, problems yet. I just have to, uh, you know, try to make my uh, economy or the UNS a strong stellar state. Construction complete. Okay. New bearing. Hmm. Yeah, Feathers of Ivani, the uh, hero of the uh, second uh, Uri Remnant War. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, we got three months, two months, and this one's 13 months, so it's roughly about a year. <laughs> okay, I'll just buy. Develop, demolish some housings here so that they could provide the industrial districts. Mm, okay, we'll just replace this one with industrial districts. Um, one, two, three. Same goes with the core. Um, oh, it's automatically being resettled, I guess. Hmm. Okay, that's okay. Hmm. New Suez. Okay, I guess this one deserves a little bit of an upgrade. But my gameplay here, I think, doesn't have one. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Alright, okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I guess this is a very, very uh, tedious gameplay right now because of uh, peacetime. Okay, uh, what do we got? We got a 12,000. I'll probably have to... Uh, um, Okay, we're just gonna set all at least uh, two of them here. Oh wait, wait. Well, I can do initial uh, recruitment again with my uh, um, with my uh. Okay, I still got 12 months here. 
So this is quite a very, very painful thing to wait for 12 months of research, but uh, okay, well, it's only, uh, we'll kind of endure that. Hmm. Okay, Rixim. Rixim, uh, probably go with the uh, trade routes. Okay, so that's a long trade route for Rixim Station. Oh god, why does it that? I guess I have to re... Okay. So yeah, that's uh... Okay, uh, when we see that uh, red back and forth line or arrow direction, it means that the uh, uh, Stellar base doesn't have any trade routes. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Science Star Division reports a new breakthrough. I don't know about the Stellar bases, probably I just have to. Upgrade these guys. Okay, well, um. Right, so we now got zero as our um, research here. So for now, I'm going to go for our naval capacity here. So probably by next one, the archaeological skills will be uh, quite fast. So. Or uh, we'll have to have an additional, uh, you know, speed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whew, this is quite difficult to be honest. The Moogie system. Hmm. Well, I got 8,000 alloys. Uh, I just simply have to wait for the Mega Engineering, which is about a year. And given with my uh, clock gameplay right now, um, or my gameplay, it will take at least, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, another uh, recorded Let's Play. Rebus. Well, we could just terraform this one, but uh, I'll let it... Uh, um, okay, I'm just, uh, hmm, well, we could just, oh, I still don't have enough influence points, so that's okay, hmm, to do 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 okay, we got a lot of, uh, zero, uh, or re uh, re zero resources lying around here. <laughs> Science Division reports okay. a new breakthrough. Hmm. Well, we'll go for wormhole travel. That will take at least nine months of research. And this one's 16. Hmm. Uh. Okay, New Japan. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. Okay. I'll just go on another route. Uh, Round check here on my uh, buildings here and see if uh, if there are any missing. Okay, so new some new Mongolia. How many? Uh, okay, so they're pretty much uh, all occupied here. Mm. Uh huh. I guess this one needs an upgrade as well. But, uh, of course, planetary administration cap. Okay, um, 
here uh, requires to be 10 and above. Okay, right. Hmm. Okay, we'll probably go for uh, several industrial centers here. Um, let me check with the... Uh, Okay, let me check with the expansion planner. Um, well, currently we lack... Uh, I don't know... Neuraxis. Hmm. Oh god, what's this? Oh, the sky is gone. It is not covered by cloud. It has been replaced by a pure void. That means the remains of new leather is patches of ground and ocean of nothingness. Everyone left on the moon is suffering pure agony for every instant that passes. Okay, so uh, New Lebanon uh, suffered a cataclysm of... Uh, yeah, the science project went into a cataclysm. Everyone left on the moon is suffering pure agony for every instant that passes. We have brought as much as time as we could for our specialists. A distorted and disturbing voice echoes from the world beyond. Yes, return to me. Okay, black hole. Uh, oh god. The planet got uh, swallowed. Okay, so Junjuka and uh, New Lebanon just got the... Uh... Okay, we're probably responding and deploying our uh, Foreign Axe Union fleet on the disappearance of uh, New Lebanon colony. Of course, uh, obviously everybody know in the UNS is that uh, story. I'm just saying this story-wise that the uh, New Lebanon is top secret uh, government uh, government uh, research world. So they do some uh, nasty black ops stuff there, or black uh, science projects. Unfortunately, from the looks of it, Kanjuka was wiped off the map. Or New Lebanon was uh, wipe it off. Okay, uh, we got the second UNS fleet here, but problem is no one's near it. Okay, we're just gonna colonize with this one. Um, okay, uh, okay. Uh, think of a UNS world. Um, I'll probably name this one... Yeah, I knew Malaysia. Okay, there we go. And, uh, of course, it's already, uh, 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna save this one with my OBS. And we're gonna head for a very short break for a while. Because, uh, I'm going to check some stuff here. UNS, episode... Uh... Episode 18B. There we go, and I'm going to save this uh, recorded let's play on our UNS. So just wait a moment, and after this, uh, we'll have a break. Hello, everyone, and welcome back uh, after that uh, short break that we had. So let's continue on our uh, recorded let's play here. Okay. For the moment, uh, New Lebanon just went to tragedy or the Kanjuka mic was uh, totally wiped off the map. It's a good thing that we've already evacuated most of the population here and the only thing that remained there was scientists. So, uh, and we have a second, uh, you know, inverted, uh, what do you call this? Uh, what do you call this? Uh, dimensional horror in this area. So apparently I've already sent the Fornax Union fleet for some, uh, you know, just for some investigation probably. Or, uh, well not investigation but kind of like, uh, and, uh, wait. We got three fleets here. How about the Dragon Spearhead fleet? Yeah, I probably have to send them to go here. So it takes about a year because I don't have uh, 
enough uh, I don't have this hyper relay thing <laughs> meanwhile uh, the Midvale Kingdom here seems to be prosperous or uh, they're kind of oh, but they li but they kind of changed their capital planet here to uh, to a uh, two world. Hmm. Well, for now they got 15 planets, so uh, and 325 populations. So okay. Hmm. High quality minerals. Okay, that's. So right Ships now, refitted. we're still 14 months out of this one, on the engineering. Huh, okay, so we still got around 14 months or a year. Hmm. Okay, so that's a long, long uh, wait here. Okay, uh, what do we got? Huh. Okay, goodbye. Okay, let me check here. Seventh Fleet, I haven't heard of that. Um, okay, we, we have to pull... Okay, we got the 22nd Fleet, which is actually... Uh, not exactly 22nd. Okay, we gotta go for... Um, cruiser, cruiser, cruiser. And then battleship, battleship. Okay, I got no idea why... Um, Okay, uh... Okay, so that's a thing. Okay, the sixth fleet, I have no idea why this... Uh... Well, probably I just have to, uh... Relocate this. Uh, through the racket private security. Okay, mm -hmm. along with the seventh fleet, thirteenth fleet. Uh, oh God! Seems that uh, they didn't get the uh, uh, the rally coordinates, I guess. Hmm. Kind of annoying when that really happens. So I have to, uh, you know, reallocate those uh, vessels to our uh, to the private security group. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess the foreign exchange fleet will have to intercept that. <laughs> okay, so I'll uh, probably be. Well, I'll just sell off minerals. Probably I have to build an army later on. But now we got 1,263 uh, pops here. And I'm still 12 months away. So that's a very, very far. Um, you know, very, very far uh, uh, target goal right now. <laughs> okay, let me see here. We got 17 unemployed pops. So, okay, we're gonna go for a little industrialization here. Uh, probably we'll just replace six of these two. Okay, so we got six industrialized uh, districts here. Good for, I guess, uh, keeping the unemployment uh, here in check. <laughs> so, 
So uh, we're just gonna make this one a forge world along with the core here. So we got two forge worlds. <laughs> Oh, we got the uh, four new worlds here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new out will take some time. Uh, from the looks of it, it's still 2371 or 75, so it will take at least a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or 11 months here. Hmm. Okay, we'll just have to uh, wait here. And our general secretary has come to an end. Okay, I guess my general secretary just died. And uh, yeah, at the age of 97, so we got several candidates here. Well, I'll probably uh, keep my uh, Silvera Ross off world minor, will be uh, the most uh, well likely candidate, I guess. So we got a lot of uh, leaders here. Uh, even I here have a. Uh... Okay, New Suez. So this is a trade. Um... Well, it's a trade fortress world. So uh... yeah. Um... Okay. <laughs> right, so this one will be on Comunapolis in 3,000 days, so that'll probably be uh, episodes 19 or 20. So uh, we're not expecting this one to come anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I'll probably check in. Uh, oh, hundred thousand. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I'll probably have to uh, accumulate a lot of more unity points, and uh, New Taiwan will probably be. Uh, uh, probably designated for uh, unity here. Okay, <laughs> that lowers the unemployment in the core. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but we're still far off from any technological progress here. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. Hmm. Let's start the fleet yard. Hmm. Uh, Tagira station. Hmm. Okay. Uh, right. Unfortunately, we don't have a base on the uh, eastern uh, eastern side of the Fornax galaxy, and there's no available. Uh, uh, what's this? Huh, there's oh, what's this? Chinor. Yeah, we could go establish a base here, I guess. Uh, outpost is. Uh, right next with this one so we had some sort of presence on the eastern side mm 
No, oh, this one's eighty. This one's affordable, about eighty-two thousand. Let me check. Yeah, I'm considering they don't have any structures here of any kind. <laughs> okay, we'll just merge this one again. Yeah, okay, tent UNS fleet is just needs a 900. Uh, okay. Yeah, the four next Union fleet will probably be arriving with this one within 64 days, so that's about two months. So we'll probably be seeing some action on, uh, or at least some formal investigation on what happened on Kanjuka Mix system. On what happened to the UNS uh, world of New Lebanon. In the meantime, I'm, uh, there's still uh, some digging in the archaeological site here. At the very center, you're overlooking the... Hmm. Well, we can still find any rubricator here. So, uh, yeah, Manon Pelliser is uh, out on a quest. And it's, well, 3 2. Uh, let's see how this ends. Huh. Oh, okay. Okay, what's this? Well, I guess that's uh, kind of uh, quite harsh on that part. So for now we're uh, enjoying the uh, uh, the peace time here. Special project complete. Okay, Vault of Knowledge. The energy barrier that surrounds the Haribas has been lowered by our scientists, revealing a barrier world with a single massive structure on the surface. A weight team sent it to a structure have reported a massive vault and filled with technological mar marvels. This vault appears to have been established by Uri scientists soon after the Empire began its long uh, decline thousands of years ago as a means of preserve some of knowledge of the benefit for their future generations of Uritonians. So basically, it's more like a, a immense library. Okay, that's interesting. Like uh, the foundations or something. And those knowledges have greatly improved our, no uh, our understanding on the, some tech here. So it's already helped uh, the research here. From the looks of it. Yeah. Uh, okay, my... Uh, I guess my uh, scientist just died. So we're just going to hire a new one. Uh, poor guy. Okay, uh, Mahabina Kaderi. Oh, Vera Ross just became the new uh, uh, UNS General Secretary, my scientist here. So he was a scientist on society. So, okay. Good for him. So, uh, right. Okay, uh, where's the investigation now? Okay, so 30 days before uh, the foreign action unit fleet intercepts this one. Okay, let's see some action here. Okay. Just 
just uh... oh great what was that oh okay I guess uh... Uh, well, I guess some part of uh, my cell phone uh, holder or something. Okay, so the Foreign X uh, Union fleet here has done some investigation. So I'm just going to get some footage here. On, Science Division uh, reports a new breakthrough. Yeah, uh, they're kind of doing an investigation on what happened to the New Lebanon, uh, the UNS, uh, new UNS World New Lebanon. Okay, uh, well, I guess that's enough footage for now. Uh, what's this? Okay, we got wormhole travel. Um, how about... Yeah, we'll go for Archimeter, I guess. So, four months we'll be finishing our uh, mega engineering uh, research so that we could restore uh, old world tech here. Okay, I'm just gonna pause this one. Uh, they should be entering. Okay, orbit of New Lebanon. So they'll probably be surprised at what happened with that. Okay. I guess I'll go with this uh, footage for now. So let's just, uh, yeah, I'll probably try to uh, record it so I can use it on my, uh, uh, you know, on my storyboards. So, um, okay, let's see if uh, the foreign X uh, Union fleet will attack this uh, invert mast. Uh. Oh, that's strange. They're not attacking it. the hell? They're not attacking it. I'm not sure if this is an error on my PC. Yeah, I guess it is. Okay, so it's a black hole. People go for result. Hmm. Okay, so uh, swallowed New Lebanon whole. Okay, so uh, yeah, yeah. I just probably have to uh, probably this is my an error on my uh, maybe I'll check if this is an error on my gameplay. Uh, I have to restart it. So um, uh, when it comes to our ninety rec recorded let's play session, uh, let's see if uh, my foreign next union fleet can still attack that. If it's not, then it means it's really uh, you can't really attack the planet. It's smart, uh, it's smart gameplay wise. Okay, let me see. A large contingent of our veterans has sent a letter requesting leave to travel to the colony of New Hong Kong, the capital of Vassal, New Macau. Included with the letter is a gift credits to Greece, the wheels of hierarchy, as they delicately put it. It seems that there are quite a lot of stories among some of our soldiers about our lucrative adventures no one can find in those systems, be it as a mercenary or a pirate. In either case, it's made clear that they have put together the credits they have, hoping to make many times that if they are sent off to New Hong Kong. If we were to formally send them to New Hong Kong, they are at least more likely to be in a boom in the leadership there, and more likely to respect the laws and rules from our, of our vassal than if we were to let them let them run free. Huh. Hmm. Okay, they're gonna go to New Hong Kong. So what does this mean? The variable will be sent aid to New Macau. New Macau. Okay, we'll give them a uh, formal leave to travel to New Hong Kong. Okay. So, yeah, that's, uh, I'm not sure about that event, to be honest, but uh, let's see how it goes. All I know, uh, New Macau here is actually a sub-vassal uh, sub state of UNS. 
uh, more like uh, think of it as uh, on earth two party system two governments on one country something like that so anyway um, mm -hmm. let's see if mega engineering here okay I just have to wait for three months for mega engineering to uh, you know get uh, you know get mm -hmm. it uh, settled so in the meantime I got a lot of uh, okay we'll just uh, put in here a crystal uh, plant or something uh, crystal factory Okay, what do we got here? Uh, 18 red knot reactor. Huh. Okay, hmm. let's see what we got here. New Spain. Um, well, it's a forge world, so uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll go for um, gene clinics, I guess. I don't know. Just to add stability. New Korea. Hmm. Well, they got. Yeah, I'll probably go with the uh, Otokyon monument, I guess. Hmm. Oh wait, New Korea. No, I'll have a. Yeah, okay, Otokyon moment because we already have a machine. Uh, Okay. A new world has been secured for our colonists. Okay, new Congo. Okay, well, just uh, this is of course a trade. Uh, uh huh. Four. Hmm. How about one, two, three, and uh, four. Okay. Um. So this. Okay, there we go. New Congo is a fortress world or a fortress station. Okay, there we go. So, uh, Newberry, we'll probably have some. Uh, oh, I, I don't know what Newberry wants here. Um, okay. Okay, just two months ahead and we'll. Uh, probably uh you know uh finish this uh mega engineering okay <laughs> uh, i have no idea uh, my breakthrough chance zero <laughs> Oh, what's this? Good relations. Though we had our reservations about sending the adventure-seeking veterans to New Hong Kong, we have received reports from our vassal that they have found themselves at home there and have proven to be more helpful than one would originally expect. Oh, well that was nice. The government uh, made more like uh, subsidies or uh, help. Or uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm still finding some words on how to put this uh, story-wise. Okay, so well, at least our uh, combat veterans for the private military and our uh, militaries, UNS militaries, have uh, done well in New Hong Kong and settling there. So okay, that's good. At least uh, I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I just have to wait at least, uh, oh god, two more months. Uh, hopefully, uh, this will be solved uh, quite soon, before uh, we end our uh, recorded Let's Play. Okay, it should be one month now. 30, and then... Okay, there we go. But I don't know why it's still two months. Okay, uh, I guess New Macau here has uh, oh Vidris Corporate Alliance. Okay, well that's good. They send in some office or some sort of thing here. 
they said it's some business uh, stuff. Okay, unemployment is still five. Hmm. New Taiwan. Uh, well, New Taiwan is still, uh, well, still being uh, upgraded, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Do 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 do. How about that? Okay, so we got our colony ship here, still traveling. The UNS Unity 2. <laughs> I'm not sure why our... Uh, huh. Okay, yeah, let me check here if he can attack neutral units. Okay, well, I guess it ended up into a big black hole with an invert mass. So it's a big mystery. Uh, probably the UNS will have to close that uh, Kanjuka space because of their uh, experiments with the jump drive technology and with invert mass thing. So I'm just gonna say that as a uh, you know, just to add to the lore or the in-game lore of the uh, my game through or my playthrough. Okay, so we got one Mega more month. Oh. Are colossal projects that we can build out in the void of space. They may provide us with cutting-edge research facilities, access to superior resources, or even some unique forms of transportation. Building. Okay, well that's good. Um, what do we got here? Um. Integrated cybernetics, battalion power plant. Uh, great, we got a lot of stuff here. I'll probably go with um, armaments first. Flak cannons, that will take them three months. Now for us, we're trying to activate the Ruin Science Nexus, which will take 4,800 days. But I guess that's worth it. Um, any more, uh... Oh, Dyson Sphere. Okay, well, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna have, um... Since we have... What's this? Titans. Quest repaired fully or upgraded any mega structures. Okay, so I just have to, uh, build mega structures here. Hmm, we could go for master builders. Yeah, I guess two of them will work. Yeah, we got uh, master builders and then galactic wonders. Yeah, okay, so we're sold with master builders. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So I am going to do, if we have enough, uh, uh, cash here, but we're gonna have some Dyson Sphere. Unfortunately, it, uh... Okay, we'll just have to wait for that. Okay, we got some robots, Vitrius, and for... Oh, okay, no more Furbanites, I guess. Okay, so at least we've uh, now... Uh, okay, we, I gotta save this one. Uh, this will be C. UNS episode... Uh, episode... Um, 18 C. Okay, there we go. So we're going to save this one on our OBS. And then after that, we're gonna move on our final 30 minutes of this recorded Let's Play. So yeah, I'm going to save this one. Okay, so we'll, uh, I've already saved it, so let's now continue on our final uh, 30 minutes of our recorded Let's Play. So, uh, yeah, I guess the main event of this story is the uh, new Lebanon's disappearance here. Uh, 
Oh, great. What the, what's this? Uh, yeah, I probably have to, uh, I don't know, sell, I guess, some minerals. Yeah, we, we can't let our citizens or humans be, uh, you know, be sold off as slaves or we have to, uh, what do you call this, buy them off so that they can live as free humans on uh, one of the UNS worlds. For now, I am still uh, short on the naval capacity here. Um, probably I have to, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, make a lot of... Uh, Huh, okay. Yeah, I probably have uh, one here in the Rosalga system, I guess. This is the uh, um, habitat. Okay, we're gonna make one. We need that as a fortress here, as a last stand, in case of any uh, destructive... Uh, you know, destructive uh, invading army or any galactic crisis, we need to establish uh, some uh, fortress worlds here or fortress habitats here in the, on those choke points. Okay, what do we got? 22. Uh huh. Okay, uh, let me check my. Uh, let me check with this one. What's the. 22nd fleet composed of okay yeah well we're going to uh rename this one as the uh fort uns fleet uh-huh just name this one as fourth okay that's now the official designation and we're going to build or reinforce this fleet Oh, Narvix. So, uh, I think I, I'm not sure. I don't have a Narvik cruiser here. Oh, we have. Okay, so it's officially uh, UNS. Uh, okay, so that's officially the fourth UNS fleet. Okay, uh, we're just gonna have to. Oh, great merge okay so we're just uh, uh okay let's see if we can merge this one okay uh, all right uh i guess they could just only absorb this Okay, I'm just gonna probably just make a private security group out of this one. This will be uh, uh, Fedora, I guess. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, catchy name. Fornak security group. Fornak security. Uh, Construction complete. Security company. Okay. There we go. We have claimed a new world. So there's just basically mercenaries or mercs. Um, for the merc fleet, we usually uh, uh, have a Xeno uh, Admiral with them. So that's the main. Uh, so we have the uh, Racket Private Security and the Fornex Security Company here. Okay, what's this? Crap, New Senegal, of course, this will be auto-designated as, uh, uh, what do you call this? A prison world. A penal colony. And this will be, uh, stronghold, uh, trade, hollow theaters. Uh-huh. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll uh, build one, two, three, and then two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so uh, that leaves other stuffs here, but uh, it's a uh, new Senegal is basically a penal colony. Oh, wait, um, commercial zones. 
We're gonna get the commercial zones out of it. Uh, we're just gonna select. Okay. Uh, more like a precinct houses. So that's the first thing we're gonna build. Okay. Okay, if I'm correct, if done correctly, that should lower the crime to other uh, UNS worlds because we now have a dedicated prison planet to store up the worst of the worst. Okay, right. Uh, in the meantime, uh huh, 105. Okay, this is New Mongolia. Oh, okay, 105. Uh, my uni points is still 93. Okay, so we kind of lack with that one. So, okay, uh, I'm okay, we're cool with that. <laughs> Okay, right, uh, what do we got here? So for now, uh, that's I guess that's the main story. Uh, the whole new Lebanon colony just uh, went missing. Rivalry about Canid Storm Rider. Okay, so there's a little bit trouble up north. The Storm Rider Prime, the whole uh, hive mine here. Oh, okay. They have a science nexus as well, and they're uh, kind of like uh, years ahead. Yeah, their collective consciousness hive mind. Huh. Oh well. So science division reports a new alert. breakthrough. Okay, what's this? Okay, flat cannons. Uh, right, we're gonna go for our kinetic artillery. We need that just to uh, upgrade our own fleets. Speci specifically our uh, our own uh, the military or the, na the UNS Navy. <laughs> Dragon Spearhead would have already arrived as well. Our pioneers well, but, have made uh, planet fall. Okay, so I guess we'll just uh, move in near with that area. So this will be now renamed, not Occupation So, but Midfell. Uh, okay, it's gonna be Midfell uh, Cooperation Zone now. Oh no. Okay, uh, logistics contract ending. Okay, it's a deal. Uh, we need some logistics anyway. So, for victory, we're now number one here. Probably, possibly the strongest uh, nation on the Four Next Galaxy. Uh, next to Falar Kingdom, Parithian, and Icarian. Uh huh. Okay. So for now, we just only have only one awakened empire, and uh, they are not really much of a threat from the looks of it. Okay, Griffin Enclave. First, you know, and fourth. Okay. All right. So uh, there's not much uh, going on here. <laughs> okay. How about the Canada? Seems that there's a lot of crime here lately. It's an agriculture world. Okay, um, how about my uh, society management? Still 36 months away. Oh. Okay, though, so that's a bit far. Uh, right, let me check. Uh, relics. Uh, can go celebrate for diversity. And, uh. Right, I guess uh, that's it.
Okay, what do we got? Elections for the council. Right. Well, that's not really gonna be interesting. That's kind of boring, to be honest. <laughs> well, it's an angry world. No, 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 no. Uh, New Mongolia. Okay, let me see here. Which one is our uh, forge world? New Mongolia looks promising. Field engineers have cleared a blocker. Twenty-five percent. Uh, New Mongolia and New Germany. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I'll probably go with New Mongolia. Uh, we need it to be tier three. <laughs> So that our, uh, you know, uh, we want the pro alloy production to be in good shape. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's good. Uh, industrial district speed is plus 40%, but I upkeep is negative 35. So, uh, yeah. Well, I could go for Fen Habanis or New Singapore, but. Uh, From uh, the looks of this, what's this? Oh, yes, yeah, Shen has built a mining station. Okay. Well, for now, I still don't have a resort world, so uh, uh, probably uh, this will be the site of our resort world. This one, the Crant uh, Three World. <laughs> Yeah, I was, uh, you know, I did change the settings to the nearest uh, on the crisis level event, but it's already 2375, and, uh, you know, the uh, galactic crisis hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> okay, outpost. Okay, I like 331. That's not a uh, good thing here. <laughs> So we got now the largest population. We got now 1,272 pops. Uh, I still think about that one, how that exactly means, or the exact numbers on the gameplay. But I know that's a lot of pops. <laughs> okay, we got the enigmatic cache here. Right. Uh, yeah, I probably have to uh, set this one on an upgrade, I guess. See if it works for them. <laughs> oh wait, let me take a look. Um, yeah, we're still doing some upgrades on armaments here, especially on the kinetic artillery. Hmm. Yeah, okay, well I'll just... Uh, you know, try to uh, redo all, all of my fleets later on. Uh, yeah, well, we probably could go for an outpost here, I guess. Okay, so uh, I don't know what's going to happen this. Probably have to restart. Hmm. I have to restart, I guess, my gameplay. And uh, we'll see if uh, this is just an error. Um, okay, I'll just keep my mercenary fleet here, Dragon Spearhead, somewhere in this area. Do -do 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 -do. In the meantime, I still need 20,000 uh, alloys here just to uh, rebuild the uh, Dyson Sphere. So right now we are on 2094 in rebuilding the Ruined Science Nexus. Okay. 
so I guess uh, that's it mm, let me check here okay we still got some unemployment here but we're already solving it there's uh, jobs now for the uh, unemployed in this uh, occupied uh, area or occupied units occupied worlds yeah I probably have to uh, replace this one with another industrial district Okay, what do we have? New Palau. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, well, this is a fortress trade world, so um, I'll probably build a dread encampment. Yeah, okay, that should do the trick. <laughs> right. Okay, so I guess everything here is pretty much in order. Um, the only thing we need here is to boost up the population, but uh, we're doing good. So democratic-wise, of course, the majority is still uh, humans. Pop growth speed is around 30%. So, uh, yeah. Um, if we... Uh, let that uh, you know a uh, snowball effect we should have a large population uh, before the uh, end game crisis here uh, starts <laughs> okay so we're not waging any wars right now so it's definitely peace time in UNS space uh, they're basically the superior or the uh, premier uh, superpower in the galactic uh, for uh, galactic west of the Fornax galaxy. I mean, uh, story-wise, of course. Now, what's this? Latrapian Associated <coughs> Sons. Well, they're scavengers. Huh. What's this? Is it talking about subjugation? Oh, huh, okay. Well, I didn't know they had a cautious belly against us. Huh. Right. Uh, well, anyway. As for the Union, for next Union fleet, uh, everything here is doing good. We got positive relations from all members of the uh, for next Union, uh, you know, for next Union uh, members. Okay. Hmm. Only leader. Ah, Federation fleet construction. Can subjects join? Yes. An unanimous vote. Invite members. Yeah, majority vote. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let me take a look. Well, we're still far from level three here. So, uh, for now, uh, but probably in a few more months ahead, I guess, we'll be reaching a level 3 federation here. It's supposed to be, this shouldn't be a, uh, I made an error here, uh, I turned it on military alliance, which is supposed to be, it should be a trade league. Oh, wait, let me get here. Okay, I'm just gonna, um, okay, Jesnak, uh, Jesnak, Kelsan. Court. Okay, that's good. So, uh, we just bought a lot of slaves to be released on New Taiwan. So, like I said, New Taiwan is still, uh, and New Singapore and New Thailand are two both UNS worlds that uh, Xenos can enter without visa. So, it's more like a free, free port or free uh, world. <laughs> So I gotta get at least uh, 20,000 more uh, aluminum uh, alloys here just to restart our project. Uh, I guess I have to... Uh, Blocker cleared. Okay, probably I have to... Uh, okay, how do I build this one? Okay, um... 
okay, I'm just gonna get the uh, footage here for at least a few seconds. So, uh, there we go. Uh, we're gonna need that footage because uh, when I make a storybook about it. Okay, so a few more seconds. Okay, there we go, I guess that's good. <laughs> so, uh, the next one will be this, uh, you know, uh, ruined Dyson Sphere that was abandoned long ago. Probably we'll, uh, the UNS will have to restart that. Okay, what do we got? Oh, it seems that uh, there's mm -hmm. trouble brewing on the Galactic East. But, uh, of course, uh, the UNS doesn't want to get involved in it. Oh, what's this? A barren world? Huh. Oh, well, that's strange. That's supposed to be, uh... Well, uh, I have no idea why this one's vacant. Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, well, we're kind of friendly with the Kalzan Empire, so, uh... Or the Kal... Kalazan Republic. Mm-hmm. What's this? Kalsan Blessed Alliance. Oh, I guess they have the Renegade Province up here. Okay, well, uh, we're not gonna... the UNS isn't gonna meddle in that affairs. Hmm. Oh, they're currently at war with the uh, Kalsan Republic. <laughs> okay, let's just uh, wait for the uh, uh, okay, um, yeah, this is gonna be pretty boring on the next uh, recorded let's say let's play because the UNS has just uh, basically just settled. Oh, what's this? Oh, Cydron Manifold and the Kalzan has... War has already ended, so... Yeah, well, good for them. Um, the UNS isn't exactly getting involved with that. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, let me check this void spawn and how it's doing in uh, in the new Singapore as a mascot. Okay. Enter orbit. Okay, so we'll just uh, have a little bit of uh, KF9 here. Oh wait, sorry about that. So I just have this video, a uh, shot on video, so that uh, when I could uh, make some videos about that. Okay, so I guess. Okay, so how about our uh, our um, construction complete. Well, Sanctuary is still Sanctuary, and it's still being terraformed to a Gaia world. Hmm. So it has only a population of 55 pops, it's not really that crowded. I was planning that uh, we could have some sort of uh, ring here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, I kind of find it that uh, we could have some sort of... Uh, yeah, probably... I'm still thinking if I could put uh, some sort of orbital ring on Haven. Well, let me see. Well, they'll make a structure. Orbital ring. It costs only 50. Fire prone spending, circling planet, providing defense, and additional specialization. Oh. Yeah, I guess we could put an orbital ring here. Uh, this will be uh, unique. 
as a unique feature of the uh, home world of the UNS. So once it's complete, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. We'll probably go with trade or something, just to maximize it. Uh, after all, we had our uh, Grand Embassy complex here for Stellar Nations. Okay, well, we got 10k now, so we need 10k more. Gateway encoder system. Yeah, that would be nice, but the problem is uh, we're not exactly in good terms with the Sadrian Manifold. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem to be honest. Okay, uh, for now we got good relations with the Mythfell. Actually, the uh, Fornax Union is more like a union of the Mythfell and the uh, UNS, or a co not a union, but a cooperation. Okay, what's this? Non aggression. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let me take a round look here. See if I uh, missed out anything. <laughs> right, synthetic crystal plants. Yeah, most of the ones here are still uh, waiting for uh, terraforming. But uh, we'll probably ha that will happen probably in the next two recorded Let's Play sessions. Oh, we got, we got no. Okay, we got a lot of upgrades on this uh, world. Okay. Right, it's a good thing I did make a check here. Right. So we're gonna. All right. Add this one. probably have to uh okay I'll Science just save Division that as a, a new breakthrough. I'm gonna save that space for a research institute. Um this is a forge world. Huh. Okay we'll probably have to uh Okay it has low stability I, I don't know why. Uh trade value okay I guess the what trade value twenty four Okay, so we'll probably you know, just add more trade testics, I guess. Okay, capacity plus 30. Um, and I got, uh, got another 30 here. Um, habitability modification would be nice. So that'll be uh, 23 months. Okay, so I guess that will conclude our gameplay for now, so I'll have to save this. This will be UNS episode 18D, and uh, for those of you who are watching this, thank you a lot, and I don't know how to express my gratitude in, and thanks on you, you know your patience in uh, you know watching with my, uh, uh, my recorded Let's Play. And uh, I guess that's all I have to say for now. And uh, thank you a lot. And see you around on our next uh, recorded Let's Play session. Again, this is the Furry Archivist. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye for now.